So if, if I had to choose between the two frames from Hobby King's um, setup with the with a clean, dirty setup, I would definitely go with the 230 uh, frame, uh, the laser 230 that is versus the switchblade uh, 200. I mean, the it's, the novelty was pretty nice when I bought this because I you know it said you can fold the arms in and everything, but in reality that. I don't think it was that well implemented the way that the arms fold in. They needed a better mechanism that allowed you to do that repeatedly without having to take Allen wrenches with you and making sure these bolts wouldn't come, wouldn't come loose. Um, so all in all, I, I favor the the Laser 230 for, for a little quad. Um, definitely, we'll see how it holds up. The, 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 these arms, are, I believe, are the fiberglass or G10 or whatever they call it. So um, they're not the thickest of arms. So um i might be concerned in a heavy crash um, there's a little bit of flex in them but the overall this frame is is not too bad this one weighs uh, i think just under 500 grams fully loaded with the 1300 um, 3s lipo and all the fpv gear so overall i, I really like this one better and um i'll probably probably pick up another one just for spare parts So you can see there, um, I had a little crash at the end. Um, I took a little chip out of this propeller here, or maybe it was the back, I don't know, a couple of these maybe. But you saw I took, I think, two little crashes. The first one I just picked up and tossed it back up in the air, no biggie. Um, but the last one, yeah, it, it crashed and I was able to pick it up and fly, but it was making some buzzing noises, but I have a feeling that's because of this prop, is edge is now chipped away. But other than that, the, the frame is, intact no, no real damage and a little scuff here and there um, and it flies great in comparison you know when I had this one flying uh, up in the air earlier the the 200 or this is the switchblade 200 I mean I was nowhere felt comfortable taking it low to fly it because it, it you know modulating the throttle on this one to keep it hovering on the ground was near impossible I have a feeling you know if I had switched to like carbon fiber props it would have been easier but still this thing doesn't have very good flight characteristics it, it feels like it's it's trying to fight itself all the time because of the the low hung weight on the bottom because uh, of the cgs all hanging on the bottom which is okay for an area for if you're doing like slow aerials it's okay because it tends to keep the craft level and it's kind of smooth kind of hovering in one spot um, but as soon as you try to do fast forward flight and banking motions it tends to like swing and, and almost like slide out I've had that a couple times trying to go fast and bank a corner on it and it, it wasn't even that hard of a corner. In comparison, this one is pretty locked in. I, I still need to do a little more PID tuning um, to get it uh, a little more locked in. Uh, but other than that, it's nearly running the stock PIDs, PIDs from Multiwee. I, I just raised the, the P gain a little um, on, on this Multiwee board. I think the stock is right around three and I'm probably around four and a half right now um, and a little bit of TPA um, so it smooths out the throttle when you punch it um, but other than that it, it will check out the video when I get home see how smooth it looks uh, it felt pretty smooth in the air um, so I'm pretty happy with this one so if